going through these. There's only a couple that have the right kind. So I've got a couple of these ones. Woo! I've got some tiny little round ones, like the one that just rolled off. So I've got a tiny little round one. I'm not sure if this is plastic. I don't really want to use those round ones. The problem with these ones, these little oblong ones, is I don't have that many of them, and they're different sizes. Oh, stop falling over. They're all different sizes. Normally, I try and stick with black to keep the spacers. It's a nice neutral color. It shows off the color of the stones better. As you can see, these kind of smoky colored ones, very similar to the color. But I don't have enough of the same size. And it makes it harder to use, even though they are a similar shade. It's harder to match with an outfit. So you've got to be aware of that when you're putting together a necklace. Now, well, since I don't have any of the right kind of beads, to fill this up is properly to space this properly. We're just going to have to put this one away for now. It's not a bad thing. It happens when you make jewelry. You expect it. So we'll put that away. We're not going to worry about it. We're going to find some more beads later that will fit the pattern or we'll fix these ones and it'll work out. So instead, I'm going <laughs> to I'm dropping everything today. Well, I've got some Labradorite. So, we'll be working on the Labradorite next. Well, good to try this again. So we've got our Labradorite. Now, Labradorite, you know, it looks like kind of grayish, kind of dull pebbles. But, and this is low quality stuff, but it's really like some moonstone. You are familiar with that kind of rock. Um, I don't know if it's doing it. The labradorite has the same sort of flash in the right angle, imperfections in the stone, refract the light back. And a really good piece can shine like a diamond. Fantastic rocks. So we've got enough for one necklace. I had originally thought to use these blue beads, just plain old beads, the spacers. See, as you can tell, I've lined them up, but looking at them in the light, my original idea was wrong. And the neutral black, once again, works better. So I'm just going to feed the spacers in where they should go, uh, cut off a chunk of string, and we'll get cracking. Got the blacky beads. They're set in there. Got our wax linen thread. And again, I used a cake of beeswax to wax the thread, give it a little bit more strength, more durability. It's optional, you don't have to do it. Get the beads laid out in a pattern. And I've already cut it. So we're going to use, I've wound it around the clasp three times. It's just a normal lobster cloth. And a soldered jump ring. I like the soldered ones better. I think they last a little longer. They're more sturdy because they're together. You don't have to worry about the raw ends rubbing each other or sliding apart. And of course, I don't solder myself, so they're hard to find. <laughs> So we just, can you see that? Tightening the knot. Just a little macrame knot. Nothing fancy. You want a thick knot at the end as a brace for the beads to rub up against. So they don't, you know, against the metal part. They don't thump it. Just scratch them or dent them or, you know, you can take off the nice shine. It doesn't have to be big. Gonna make sure it's tight. So oh, that's about all it needs. I could do it a couple more times, but that's about all it needs. So, 
pattern. We've got the e bead. We've got one of our labradite pebbles. And labradite pebble doesn't want to go on. There we go. And we just keep patterning. E bead, pebble. Come on. And so forth. So we're almost done. It's beat it up. You can see. I think it's going to look really nice. I put the ones with the most shine in the middle and work their way up to the ones that have the least on the ends. A lot of them do have shine, but because they're not high quality, it's not on the face. It's on the side of the bead. So as you wear it and you move, you're going to get unexpected kind of flickers. The interesting parts about this kind of stone. You can tell, the thread, oh, we've got one bead left, a little extra long. That's just to make sure that it knots around the jump ring properly. You don't want your thread to be too short. Come on. There we go. I'm not wearing the best shirt to try this on, but you can see how well it's going to hang. It looks nice. If you're worried about the length, you're out of beads. Get a couple more e beads, maybe some black seed beads. Very a pattern, you know, e bead, seed bead, e bead, seed bead. You know, just something that looks nice. Keep it simple. You'll get an extra half inch on either end entirely optional if you want to do it. I just like having the very simple look. So, this is what it's going to look like. Nothing fancy. Very simple. Um, goes well with a t-shirt or, you know, sweater and jeans, something like that. A lot of fun. I had hoped to show you me doing something with the blue tiger eye. You don't see this stuff much. Beautiful color. Lucked into this last time I went shop. Fortunately, all these ones, almost half the string, don't fit my thread. And I'm using the smallest thread I have. So watch out for that when you go shopping for beads particularly gem beads. The drill, the inside drill, you can't see it. They usually string them on silk thread or fishing line. And, you know, you have no way of judging that you actually be able to use the things until you get home and you try them. Like this. So that's it's kind of annoying. <laughs> Find something else to play with. Well, I had hoped to use the carnelian. That the carnelian would fit. And out of this whole pile, this much fits on my thread. So it's just kind of frustrating. And, you know, when you're buying this, you're shopping, you have no way to tell if the thread's going to be okay. And these are just barely drilled, so you maybe a thread will fit through this, like a sewing thread. So I'm going to have to, like, make myself a costume or something to put these things on so I can, you know, feel good about buying the stupid things. <laughs> Because I can't make them in jewelry like this. This is very irksome. Very irksome. So I'm going to go find something else to play with. 